which part of the conductive portion of the respiratory system is characterized by presence of smooth muscle and aciliated simple columnar epithelium and the absence of cartilage and glands. So here we have three conditions to fulfill in order to answer this question. Presence of smooth muscle, ciliated simple columnar epithelium, and absence of cartilage and glands. And it should be in the conductive portion of the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of a conductive portion and respiratory portion. In the respiratory portion, there is exchange of gases, but in the conductive portion, no exchange of gases can take place. And the conductive portion consists of the trachea, divisions of the bronchi, main bronchus, lower bronchus, segmental bronchus, and then the bronchiole, while the respiratory portion consists of a respiratory bronchiole, alveolar duct, alveolar sac, and the alveoli. So we are not asked about the respiratory portion. We are asked about the conductive portion of the respiratory system. In a segmental bronchus, option A, we have cartilage in the form of cartilage plates. So this does not apply to one of the conditions here, absence of cartilage. In addition, the mucosa is lined by pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium and not a simple columnar epithelium. In addition, there are glands in the uh, submucosa, so it is not a segmental bronchus. It is not a main bronchus, and it is not a lobar bronchus, because all these divisions of the bronchi, they have a similar structure, but they vary in their diameter. Trachea, this is a section in the trachea. Again, here we have the lining, a pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium. There are glands in the submucosa. And there is a cartilage, C-shaped cartilage plate. So it does not fulfill the criteria that are mentioned here, the presence of smooth muscle. Actually, smooth muscle in the trachea does not form a continuous layer, but the smooth muscle fibers are located at the end of the posterior end of the cartilage plates of the C-shaped cartilage. If this is the C-shaped cartilage, it is deficient posteriorly and it is connected by tracheales muscle fibers. So there are muscle fibers, but they do not constitute a continuous layer of muscularis layer like in the bronchus. However, there are smooth muscle fibers that can control the diameter. But the trachea contains cartilage, it has glands, and the, the epithelium is not a simple columnar, the pseudostratified columnar epithelium. The bronchiole, this is the structure of the bronchiole. The bronchiole consists of a mucosa that is formed of simple columnar, maybe low columnar epithelium, but simple columnar epithelium. There is a lamina propria here, and there is a continuous layer of smooth muscle fibers, but there is no cartilage, as you can see here. There is absence of cartilage and continuous layer of smooth muscle fibers, and then there is the adventitia. So, there are smooth muscle fibers. This fulfill one of the conditions. Uh, simple columnar epithelium, ciliated simple columnar epithelium, again fulfills the uh, condition. The bronchiole fulfills this condition. And then the absence of cartilage and glands. There is no submucosa, as you can see here. There are no glands in the submucosa. And there is no cartilage at all. Cartilage is present in the form of C-shaped cartilage in the trachea and in the form of cartilaginous plates in the bronchi. 